You are looking live at Madison Square Garden in New York City as we kick off a whole new season here on Monday Night Raw. This is the Raw after WrestleMania and just eight days removed from the biggest weekend of the WWE calendar, we have a brand new WWE Champion. It was back on WrestleMania Sunday where the visionary, Seth freaking Rollins, stood toe to toe against the Royal Rumble match winner, the prize fighter, Kevin Owens. And after a grueling battle, Kevin Owens survived the best from the revolutionary and was able to put down the now former champion in AT&T Stadium. Kevin Owens holds the gold and he did not want to wait any time putting it on the line. Kevin Owens, a man who thrives for the fight and he issued the challenge tonight in Madison Square Garden that WWE Championship will be on the line. It is the prize fighter, the new WWE Champion, putting his gold on the line against another man who was victorious on WrestleMania Sunday, that being the Celtic warrior, Sheamus. The Brawling Brutes took down Cross, Baron Corbin, and Joe Gacy at WrestleMania, but can Sheamus win the gold tonight? Of course, Kevin Owens not the only man to win gold back at WrestleMania. It was on WrestleMania Saturday, where the defiant LA Knights reign with the Intercontinental Championship came crashing down. Sami Zayn scratched and clawed month in and month out to get another opportunity and he made the most of it on Wrestlemania Saturday and it was earlier this week that Sami Zayn issued an open challenge to the Monday Night Raw locker room Zayn wants the competition just as much as anybody else the Intercontinental Championship on the line and who was the man who signed their name to the dotted line first to agree to that open challenge here tonight well, that was the Judgment Day's Dirty Dominic Mysterio. Mysterio joined the ranks of the Judgment Day a few months back. He is yet to compete inside the squared circle in the black and purple colors. He does so tonight. He does so up next as this kicks off Monday Night Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. That is for the WWE Intercontinental. What bigger way to kick off the first Monday Night Raw of the season from New York City, Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena, than with the Intercontinental Championship on the line. And walking down the aisle for the very first time, representing the black and the purple, you could call him Dirty Dominic Mysterio. Certainly a change of face over the last couple of months. Mysterio felt lost since being traded to Monday Night Raw back in the fall. He found the new family in the arms of the Judgment Day, and it could not have been a pleasant eight days in the Judgment Day locker room, as of course back on WrestleMania Saturday, there you see Rhea Ripley. She lost her WWE Women's Championship to Liv Morgan on the grandest stage of them all. A quick hiccup in the arsenal of the Eradicator was all Liv Morgan needed to take advantage and become champion. And of course for Damian Priest and Finn Balor putting their world tag team titles on the line against Monday Night Raw's Dusty Rhodes tag team classic winners Jay and Jimmy Uso all bite a match of the year candidate in the early month of March. But the Usos walking away with the championships at AT&T Stadium. Certainly not how WrestleMania, I should say certainly not how Judgment Day wanted WrestleMania to go eight and nine days ago in Dallas, Texas. But tonight, an opportunity for Dominic to turn it all around, to bring some gold back to the Judgment Day locker room. Dominic Mysterio looking to prove his worth since joining the ranks of the Judgment Day. He was the first person who capitalized on the opportunity put his pen to paper and agreed to this championship open challenge here in the garden. And even though Sami Zayn has agreed to be a fighting champion and issued this open challenge tonight, that does not mean he is looking to let up on the Intercontinental Championship gold he scratched and clawed for months for here on Monday Night Raw. Sami Zayn made his way through the Intercontinental Championship Eliminator 
defeating Carmelo Hayes in the first round and then taking down Tommaso Ciampa at Saturday night's main event. Zayn rode that momentum into WrestleMania Saturday where he turned away the defiant LA Knight in their second meeting in a matter of months. Sami Zayn has been daydreaming about getting that gold around his waist month in and month out as we mentioned and that dream finally came to fruition in AT&T Stadium. But now Sami Zayn Looking to get back in action inside the squared circle as we ring the bell for the first time of what is going to be an illustrious 2024 and 2025 season here in the WWE. We are live in the world's most famous arena, the Big Apple, Madison Square Garden. The Intercontinental Championship is on the line to kick things off. Let's send things down to the ring for your official introductions. Introducing the challenger from San Diego, California, weighing in. Not one, but two championship affairs on your way tonight from New York City. And the first one opening us up now, Sami Zayn issued the open challenge. Dominic Mysterio, the first man to accept. And now Dominic has a chance to win his first singles championship, not just here on Monday Night Raw, but in the entire WWE. Dominic Mysterio joined Raw back in the fall due to a trade. He was lost in the wind. Joining the ranks of the Judgment Day, but now time to carry his weight. Will he be able to do so? The bell has sounded and we are underway for the first time on Monday Night Raw in the 2024-25 season. I want to thank you for joining us for the Big Apple, New York City, Madison Square Garden, as we promised it is going to be an amazing night here on Monday Night Raw and continuing us forward. Of course, the first time we will be live this season coming your way Saturday. April the 13th, we are heading to San Juan, Puerto Rico for a joint Raw and SmackDown production of Backlash. Gotta wonder who is going to be the Intercontinental Champion when we head to Puerto Rico next month. Could be Sami Zayn or could very well be the Judgment Day's Dominic Mysterio as Sami Zayn let Dirty Dom have it in the opening moments. Dominic Mysterio, I'm sure, lost a little bit of respect in that locker room. And guys like Sami Zayn, guys like Kevin Owens when he joined the ranks of the Judgment Day. Dominic said things were not going his way on Monday Night Raw. Dominic felt lost since getting traded away from his father on SmackDown. But joining the ranks of the Judgment Day was certainly not a decision that many agreed with. Now look at Mysterio from the top. Well, there's one thing we've never discounted about Dirty Dumb, and that's his ability inside of the ring. It is in his DNA, it's in his blood, an amazing talent, and all the tools to be the Intercontinental Champion. Certainly not endearing himself to this New York City crowd, however. Dominic Mysterio, I am sure, and I hate to say it, but the young man, I'm sure, has picked up a couple of bad habits hanging out in the Judgment Day locker room. Damian Priest, Finn Balor, and the woman at ringside, Rhea Ripley, not afraid to get their hands dirty. And I'm sure Dominic has got to be willing to do anything it takes to win the Intercontinental title tonight. Tope suicide to the outside, and Sami Zayn feeling the brunt of it. And can you just imagine if this open challenge that Sami Zayn issued earlier this week comes back to haunt him here in New York City? Could have been anybody on the Monday Night Raw locker room that accepted this challenge. It just happened to be somebody from the Judgment Day. And although WrestleMania weekend may not have gone the way of Priest, Balor, and Rhea, it could all go the way of Dominic tonight. But not if there's crash and burn situations like that. And a big time exploder for his efforts. And Sami Zayn looking to get back into this contest. Capacity crowd on hand in Madison Square Garden. Certainly not taking kindly to Dominic Mysterio's actions here tonight already, but Sami Zayn letting New York City come alive. And Zayn coming alive as well. Huge combination of maneuvers into the cover. Dominic Mysterio in trouble and kick out that time. I believe Rhea Ripley might have took the post off the 
But the ring, excuse me, the turnbuckle pad. Nonetheless, let's try to refocus here. Still to come tonight here in New York City. Eight women are gonna enter that, enter that squared circle. An opportunity to challenge Liv Morgan for the WWE Women's Championship on the line. Over the top rope battle royal, Rhea Ripley's name not present. The former champion gonna have to start from the drawing board to get herself another opportunity against the woman who defeated her back at WrestleMania. Those eight women here on Monday Night Raw are gonna have their opportunity later tonight in the Battle Royal. Nonetheless, Dominic Mysterio looking to turn the tables in this matchup. Could be going for a three amigos this time. And he hits it. Sami Zayn feeling the brunt. And into the cover goes Dirty Dom. And Zayn with a kick out again. Zayn fought so hard to achieve the Intercontinental Championship. You know he's not going to let it up without a fight. Dominic Mysterio, young and talented, and he's smart as well. He's got to realize that Sami Zayn is going to bring his best and survive the worst. Wait a minute, Dom from the top, going for the frog splash. Nobody home. Sami Zayn saw it coming, did his homework here, but I can't help but bring the attention once more to Rhea Ripley, who continues to play games with the referee, John Cone in this matchup. Turnbuckle pad off, turnbuckle pad on, Sami Zayn, blue thunder bomb, and wait a minute here, referee's got his back turned. Well, this is the games of the Judgment Day that they are not afraid to play. That turnbuckle pad, Referee was fixing it back up. Sami Zayn hit the blue thunder bomb. Unfortunately, was not able to even get a count. Nonetheless, the match rolls forward. Sami Zayn may have the odds stacked against him tonight with the Judgment Day looming. Taking Dom down momentarily. Dominic Mysterio created some distance. Now back inside the ring. Down he goes. Leapfrog that time. Nicely executed arm drag. It's Sami Zayn. Feeling the fight from this young superstar. Here we go. Back and forth. The momentum starts to swing. The turnbuckle exposed once more. That is certainly dangerous for whoever might come in contact with it. Hopefully nobody does. But Sami Zayn now. His wheels are spinning. Dominic's on spaghetti legs on the outside. Sami Zayn off the top with a crossbody of his own. We saw Dominic soar through the skies earlier tonight. The Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn giving him a taste, a taste, excuse me, of his own medicine. And out to the top goes the champion. What will Sami Zayn be willing to do to retain his newly renowned Intercontinental Championship? Another crossbody, lateral press to retain the gold. Not just yet, Dominic Mysterio is still alive. An incredibly competitive matchup to kick things off. I'm sure it's just the first to come, as you saw at the top of the hour in your main event. The WWE Championship of Monday Night Raw is on the line as the new champion, the Royal Rumble match winner, the prize fighter, Kevin Owens, puts the gold up against the Celtic Warrior Sheamus. Right now, Sami Zayn's trying to find a way to keep down the Judgment Day's Dirty Dom. Down he goes, to the top again. And now a swanton bomb from the champion. We saw him institute that maneuver back in WrestleMania. Obviously played him dividends, but Dominic Mysterio with the shoulder up again. Damage done, but not the three count Zayn was hoping for. Sami Zayn's got to find a way to close this matchup. He's got to believe as this gets into deeper waters, Rhea Ripley may be more willing to get involved. And here comes Dominic with a 619 on Sami Zayn. And a halo. Oh no, Sami Zayn is out. Dominic Mysterio is stacking the offense and he may be nearing intercontinental gold. Frog splash. We're going to have a new champion here in New York City. Not to be denied is Sami Zayn. Dominic Mysterio's frustration pours out. And the appreciation from this capacity crowd pours out. New York City in all of the efforts by Dominic Mysterio and Sami Zayn. 
Dominic back to the top rope, going for another splash. Not to be found on that one. However, Zayn not able to take advantage that time. I believe Rhea Ripley was mouthing off to the champion at ringside. That is what we talked about moments ago. Rhea Ripley has already tried to stick her nose in this business on multiple times, trying to help Dominic Mysterio, her Latino Heat, win the Intercontinental Championship. You gotta believe that Judgment Day is desperate to bring championship gold back to their locker room. They reigned on Raw with an iron fist for months, whether it was Rhea Ripley as the women's champion or Damian Priest and Finn Balor as the tag team champions. But it is a new day here on Raw, and another frog splash attempt is not to be. And Sami Zayn trying to come alive once again in your opening bout. Dominic Mysterio had a chance there, not able to put the Intercontinental Champion away. He had his bell rung that time and make it a second blue thunderbomb. Sami Zayn, all kinds of fired up here at Madison Square Garden. And Dominic Mysterio may be out, but Zayn looking for the exclamation point. From pillar to post, Hulova kick delivered. The maneuver that won him the title in AT&T Stadium is the maneuver that retains him the gold in MSG. Dominic Mysterio pushing the offense in this matchup, almost winning the championship on numerous occasions, but it was not to be. Sami Zayn worked hard to achieve that Intercontinental title, and even with Rhea Ripley being the X Factor tonight, Zayn finds a way to retain the gold in his open challenge here in the Garden. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, Carmelo Hayes! Melo attacking Sami Zayn from behind! Oh, well, you remember Carmelo Hayes has got an issue with Sami Zayn stemming from the Intercontinental Championship Eliminator. And it looks like Melo has not forgotten. Zayn rode that victory into WrestleMania to win the Intercontinental title. That could have been Carmelo Hayes' opportunity, and it looks like Melo certainly did not miss on the target. Striking Zayn with his own title and drawing the line in the sand for a future championship bout. Well, back on WrestleMania Saturday, we saw an incredible collision between the King of Pro Wrestling, CM Punk, and the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura. This was about Nakamura wanted. Nakamura wanted to prove that the title of best in the world belonged to him, and he certainly put up a case back on WrestleMania Saturday. He did a number on CM Punk in that matchup, but in the end, it was the king of pro wrestling in CM Punk who was able to outlast the best from Shinsuke Nakamura, outlast the beatdown, and knock out Nakamura with one emphatic go to sleep in the middle of AT&T Stadium. Ever since Punk's return back at the Royal Rumble, leading into WrestleMania, he has gone 5-0 and in victories. That winning streak continuing back at the show of shows. Well, CM Punk took to Twitter just yesterday afternoon and had this to say, fights like WrestleMania are what I live for. However, I'm coming out a little too beat up to compete. I'll be taking a short time off to rest up. You can bet that when I'm back in that ring, I'll continue to prove why I am the best in the world. CM Punk making a statement. And when he returns to Raw, he has certainly put the locker room on notice. Well, what a buzzkill as we return to Madison Square Garden. And from what we understand, the A-list superstar The Miz has demanded a match tonight after being left off WrestleMania just two weeks ago. Well, I don't know who Miz's opponent's gonna be, but I don't know if his luck's gonna get any better. It's scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds. 
Well, speaking of CM Punk, we're looking at the guy who awarded him his first victory back at the Royal Rumble. The Miz has not had a lot of luck on Monday Night Raw for quite some time, to say the least. Loss after loss, they continue to stack up. Miz, however, demanding a fight here in New York City. I got no word on who the Miz's opponent's gonna be. Is this an open challenge? Is this a sign by the general manager? I have no idea. The Miz wanted to compete, and here we are. Lights are on bright. We're in the Big Apple. But who's gonna be the opponent? Business has picked up. And his opponent from Black Forest, South Australia, weighing in at 330 pounds, Rocket Reigns. Wait a minute, what did we just say? We're, we're in the Big Apple, and here comes Big Bronson Reed, former NXT North American champion. This heavyweight, this Aussie, walking down the aisle. Here in New York City, Bronson Reed is back in WWE, and he is here, live and in living color, on Monday Night Raw. Well, this could not have been what The Miz had in mind. Miz may be regretting demanding a match here in New York City tonight. Well, the ante just got up. Wait, wait a minute, let's repeat ourselves on purpose. Business has picked up Big Brunson Reed is back here on Raw, and The Miz cannot be happy to see him. Well, The Miz trying to throw a couple of shots. I don't know how you keep down the big man. Once NXT North American champion, took his talents around the world once more over the last few years. Wrestled in to Tokyo Dome in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Wrestled all around the independents. But now Bronson Reed here on Monday Night Raw for the very first time. And The Miz cannot be happy to see him. Miz trying to throw a couple of strikes. Miz is just trying to get the hell out of Dodge, I think. Oh my goodness. That's a strike if I ever saw one. And look at Reed ragdolling The Miz. New York City on their feet for this colossal Bronson Reed as he takes down The Miz once more into his first cover of the bout. And The Miz got to give credit where credit's due. Maybe on quite the losing streak time and time again, but former WWE champion, decorated future Hall of Famer, no doubt about it. But Bronson Reed came to put in the work tonight. Miz is feeling the force. Oh my goodness. Absolutely in awe of seeing this big man and his agility and strength. What a senton. Count of two, Miz somehow surviving. Wait a minute here. Reed to the top. Tsunami! Into the cover. Thanks for coming, Miz. Your job's finished. Bronson Reed making quick work of the A-list superstar. Live here in Madison Square Garden, the first roll of the season, the return to the WWE, and the debut on Monday Night Raw for Big Bronson Reed. Well, speaking of debuts and returns this Wednesday afternoon. Velocity is coming exclusively to the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok page. You're not going to want to miss all the action. Let's take an exclusive look and preview on the action that's on your way. Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way exclusively every Wednesday to the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Brawl and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. A new season in the WWE is upon us and you haven't seen anything yet. Don't miss Velocity every single Wednesday only on TikTok.
And the action kicks off this Wednesday as Friday Night SmackDown superstars will be in action. Axiom set to go one-on-one -on -one with the Cruiserweight Champion of the World, the Mad Dragon, Ilya Dragunov. Don't miss Velocity starting this Wednesday, each and every Wednesday, only on the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok. But Monday Night Raw set to continue. An eight woman over the top rope. Battle Royal is upon us. The following contest is an eight woman battle royal. Making her way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois, Cora Jade. The generation of Jade very well may be upon us. A huge opportunity tonight. Some are calling it the Breakthrough Battle Royal. Eight women competing tonight who have never held the WWE Women's Championship. Certainly somebody's breakout moment may come live and in living color here in New York City. And it's coming up next, the number one contenders, Battle Royal on Raw. Coming your way on Saturday night, April the 13th, witness the aftermath of WrestleMania as the superstars of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown head to San Juan, Puerto Rico for the 2024 Backlash. This international live premiere event streams live at 5 p.m. Eastern time on Saturday night, April the 13th. And as a new season approaches, what will these superstars have in store? You haven't seen anything yet, and nothing can prepare you for the backlash. You aren't gonna wanna miss backlash. It is coming your way Saturday night, April the 13th from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Live premiere event at 5 p.m. Eastern time. But who will be the number one contender for the WWE Women's Championship here on Monday Night Raw when we get to San Juan, Puerto Rico next month? Eight women who have never been the WWE Women's Champion in their careers getting an opportunity to break through the glass ceiling here tonight in New York City. Blair Davenport, among others, set to compete for this battle royal. The winner goes on to challenge the new WWE Women's Champion Liv Morgan in the near future for her goal. Seven women have entered, one more to come, and it is the young prodigy, Roxanne Perez. And their opponent from Laredo, Texas, Roxanne Perez. We are talking superstars who have never had an opportunity, or I should say have never been the WWE Women's Champion, but Roxanne Perez was within inches of becoming the number one contender for WrestleMania last month. She was a part of that fatal five-way that Liv Morgan ultimately ended up winning. But Perez making some noise on that night. And now here at Madison Square Garden, Roxanne Perez looking to make some noise all over again. But this time, come out on the other side as the new number one contender. It'd certainly be an interesting altercation to see Perez one-on-one -on -one with the woman who took away her number one contendership last month in that fatal five-way in Liv Morgan. But here we go, the Battle Royal is underway here in Madison Square Garden. Let's take a look at the talent field. You got Alba Fire, Isla Dawn making her Monday Night Raw debut. Part of NXT for quite some time, former partner of Alba Fire. Gotta wonder if they're gonna reignite that tag team tonight. We got Cora Jade in there as well, Ivy Nile. Usually see her out here with the Creed Brothers. Tonight she is on her own. Blair Davenport, you got Mi Chin. Delivering a mean Saito to Ivy Nile. Of course, you got Roxanne Perez, the prodigy, and the buff Barbie, Tiffany Stratton. Some history between those two women. Stratton and Perez went one-on-one -on -one back in January in the lead-up to the Elimination Chamber. St Tiffany Stratton was the one picking up the victory on that night. It's anybody's ball game. Eight women looking for their breakthrough opportunity here on Monday Night Raw. I don't wonder if there's any unpredictability in this matchup, such as somebody like Isla Dawn making her Monday Night Raw debut. Wait a minute, Isla getting sent over the top rope. There she goes. 
Easier said than done, I guess. Alba Fire first night on the job, and not to be. First one eliminated in this matchup. Wait a minute. Another one. Two casualties in the early going by hands of the buff Barbie. Tiffany Stratton truly looking to make Monday Night Raw Tiffy time and become the number one contender. Isla Dawn and Ivy Nile sent to the back as we remind you that coming this Wednesday only on TikTok, well, Roxanne Perez almost eliminated, or excuse me, Cora Jade almost eliminated. The Cruiserweight champion Ilya Dragunov from Friday Night SmackDown one-on-one -on -one with Axiom. You can only see it at Noah Nation Gaming on TikTok, exclusive every Wednesday. It is WWE Velocity. There will be some action-packed matches coming your way each and every week. A 10 minute sprint that is Velocity. You are not gonna wanna miss it. Already two eliminations bring this down to six women in this matchup. You're looking at names like Alba Fire, who took on Rhea Ripley during her reign as the women's champion. Last Raw before Monday Night Raw took on Rhea as well. And Rhea used Alba Fire as a stepping stone to build momentum towards WrestleMania. I'm sure the young Alba Fire would love to get another shot at the WWE Women's Championship. Wait a minute, speaking of Fire, sending the Prodigy over the top rope. Roxanne Perez eating some left hooks. I believe that was right hooks. Weird point of view. But nonetheless, Roxanne Perez eliminated from this matchup by the young and hungry Alba Fire. They're down to five, Blair Davenport. Tiffany Stratton, the only two women standing on their own two feet right now. As we get into later rounds in this matchup, and obviously fatigue starts to play a factor. Oh, there she goes! Has been eliminated. Tiffany Stratton putting up some numbers tonight in the home of the New York Knicks. Blair Davenport eliminated. Leaving us with Tiffany Stratton, Mee Chin, Cora Jade, and Alba Fire. And make that three. And bodies are flying left and right in this battle royal. Who is gonna become the number one contender? By the time we get to Backlash, Saturday night, April the 15th, or excuse me, April the 13th, live at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Coliseum in San Juan, Puerto Rico, going to play host to, I'm sure, what is going to be an incredible event coming your way next month. Tiffany Stratton, Alba Fire, Cora Jade, we have not seen very much of over the last year since her Monday Night Raw debut. Jade looking to break out here tonight. Tiffany Stratton, who's been making noise over the last couple of months. Alba Fire made her debut on Raw back in December. To be anybody's ball game here in Madison Square Garden. Look at Cora Jade taking down both of her opponents. Running head, head start, excuse me, and a knee to the dome. Cora Jade looking to turn this into the generation of Jade in the 2024 2025 season. Here she comes, double underhook DDT. Some have called this the breakthrough battle royal. Cora Jade looking to break through the glass ceiling, not just here in Madison Square Garden, but in the Monday Night Raw Women's Division. I'm sure the new champion, Liv Morgan, has got her eyes locked on this contest, looking at who is going to be her potential challengers for the Women's Championship. Tiffany Stratton taking down Cora Jade. Not to be denied is Jade. Gotta keep your eyes on Alba Fire as well. Look at Fire muscling up the buff Barbie and to the canvas she goes. Wait a minute, had her back turn. Cora takes advantage. Has been eliminated. And just like that, we are down to two. You gotta have eyes in the back of your head in a battle royal. Alba Fire did the dirty work, but Cora Jade sent her over the top rope. We are down to two women. Will it be the generation of Jade, or is it Tiffy time? It is Tiffany Stratton, Cora Jade, duking it out for number one contendership. Cora Jade, as we mentioned, we have not seen much of her since her Monday Night Raw debut last year. Has not seen a lot of success on the red brand. It could be a whole new chapter for her career starting tonight. Or will the rise of Tiffany Stratton that has been slow but sure over the last few months on Raw, continue here tonight. Look at Jade not to be denied. Great maneuver that time, taking down the 
taller and I'm sure stronger competitor. Laura Jade can be scrappy inside of that ring. Hardcore at times. Have a look at Stratton as the momentum goes back and forth. I'll tell you what, either way this matchup goes, Liv Morgan's gonna have her hands full when she defends the WWE Women's Championship for the very first time. Tiffany Stratton looking to be the number one contender. Laura Jade has gotta be surprising some people here tonight. The breakthrough battle royal, seeing somebody who we have not seen too much of here on Raw, outlasting till the very end. But will she be able to be the number one contender? Or will Tiffany Stratton continue forward? Stratton just wearing down her opponent right now, but you remember, you gotta get your opponent over the top rope. Laura Jade took advantage, showed she could get an elimination just a few moments ago. But she ain't gonna be throwing anybody out if Stratton has her way. My goodness, what an agile maneuver. Tiffany Stratton breaking down Cora Jade and sending her over the top rope. And there you have it. Monday Night Raw very well may be living in tiffy time because we have a new number one contender. The former NXT Women's Champion, the Buff Barbie. Her rise continues here on Monday Night Raw. Here is your winner, Tiffany Stratton. You gotta give credit where credit's due. Tiffany may have an attitude about her, but she is an incredible athlete inside of that squared circle. And Liv Morgan is going to have her hands full when the WWE Women's Championship is on the line. Tiffany Stratton breaking through the glass ceiling tonight and proclaiming herself number one contender. Well, when the WWE Draft is taking place, it's been the talk of the town, and we can confirm it's coming your way live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Monday night, April the 8th. It is a special Monday Night Raw edition, the 2024 WWE Draft Lottery. You're not going to want to miss it on the 8th of April. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to take you back to last month here on Monday Night Raw. The Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic winners, Jay and Jimmy Uso. Victorious in their pursuit on the road to WrestleMania. However, ambushed from behind by Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford of the Street Profits who were reeling over their loss in the Dusty Cup Finals. Well, the Usos had to look past this assault and do their best to do so because they were riding a wave of momentum into WrestleMania Saturday where Jay and Jimmy took on the two-time World Tag Team Champions, the 2023 Tag Team of the Year, Damian Priest and Finn Balor of the Judgment Day. And an incredible contest on both sides of the ring it was. Match of the Year candidate, absolutely at that. But in the end, Jay and Jimmy Uso able to outlast everything that the Judgment Day had to throw at them. And we have new World Tag Team Champions here on Monday night. Jay and Jimmy, the Usos. But with that gold comes a target on their back, a target that has been there since their Monday Night Raw return. And next week, we can confirm that the issues from last month spill over into the new season. Main event Jay Uso set the lock horns with Montez Ford of the Street Profits, and you gotta believe that Dawkins and Ford are looking to earn their number one contendership for a shot at the World Tag Team titles. It's Jay versus Ford next week on Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. Well, it is main event time here in New York City, Madison Square Garden. And the Celtic warrior Sheamus is riding a high off of WrestleMania Sunday, burying his past demons in the harbinger of doom carrying cross. 
the sinister Joe Gacy and Baron Corbin. Of course, that coming alongside Butch and Ridge Holland and the Brawling Brutes. But tonight, Sheamus walks down the aisle with a singles opportunity at tow. The WWE Championship on the line. Kevin Owens wanted to fight. Management gave him a deserving opponent. And certainly Sheamus has got to be fired up as a certain song rings across the speakers at MSG. Sheamus looks laser focused on the task at hand. But the prize fighter, the new WWE Champion, Kevin Owens, is back in the garden where many say his momentum skyrocketed to the top back in November at Survivor Series. Well, both Kevin Owens and Karrion Cross, familiar with the Harbinger of Doom, or I should say Kevin Owens and Sheamus, both familiar with the Harbinger of Doom and Karrion Cross. It was back in November in this very building at Survivor Series, where Kevin Owens was a part of Team Sheamus in a traditional Survivor Series matchup. All of the brawling brutes were eliminated by Cross. It was up to Kevin Owens for a 3-1 comeback against Team Cross. And on that night at Survivor Series, the WWE Champion, Kevin Owens, was able to outlast Solo Sokoa, Damian Priest, and Karrion Cross. And all those months later, Cross, or excuse me, Kevin Owens, if we can get it outright, won the Royal Rumble matchup, defeated Cross back at the Elimination Chamber. And as you saw at the top of the hour, defeated Seth freaking Rollins in the main event of WrestleMania Sunday eight nights ago to win the WWE Championship. But could it all come crashing down here tonight? Introducing the challenger from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior. And his opponent, from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, the WWE Champion, Kevin Owens! Here we go. It is your main event of the first Raw of the season. The WWE Championship is on the line in your second of two title bouts here this evening. The Celtic warrior Sheamus, very familiar with that gold, has won it multiple times throughout his career. And remember, Sheamus was in pursuit of the visionary Seth freaking Rollins back in the fall, trying to win the WWE title. Failed to do so on numerous occasions. Now Sheamus looks at the man who did what he wanted to do all those months ago. It is Sheamus, it is Kevin Owens. The WWE title is on the line here in your main event. Certainly a big fight feel here to kick things off on the first roll of the season. What a night it has been here in the world's most famous arena. You got to wonder who the WWE champion is going to be. We get to Hershey, Pennsylvania next week in the Giant Center. Already confirmed one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Jey Uso, set to go one-on-one -on -one with one half of the Street Profits in Montez Ford. Oh! Who is going to be the WWE Champion? Will it be Kevin Owens or will it be a short-lived reign for the prize fighter? The 2024 Royal Rumble match winner. Celtic Warrior Sheamus looking to play spoiler. Very well could do so tonight. Owens eight nights ago was in a war, to say the least, with Seth freaking Rollins. You got to wonder if there's any looming fatigue from that matchup. Obviously, Sheamus competing back at WrestleMania Sunday as well. Different circumstances, six-man tag team matchup. Sheamus did not have to do all of the work in that contest. Sheamus certainly came in and put the finish, the icing on the cake. Came in a house of fire, beat the hell out of all three men on the opposing side of the ring and got the victory for the Brawling Brutes. Sheamus, of course, is dealing that carrying cross issue on and off for months, it seemed like. Being put through the announce table, using a steel chair, steel steps. Sheamus took the brunt of it. A beatdown from Karrion Cross time and time again. WrestleMania Sunday was certainly a long time coming. 
Now Seamus putting those pass issues behind him. Looking to finally take down the WWE Champion here tonight and win the gold for himself. And you see a rare misstep out of the Royal Rumble match winner, Kevin Owens, going for a springboard, Tornado DDT. Thought Sheamus was still in the same spot behind him. Unfortunately, the Celtic Warrior was one step ahead. You know, as we mentioned, Sheamus challenged for the WWE Championship a couple of times in 2023. One-on-one -on -one matches with Seth Rollins not once but twice and was also a part of that six-man Hell in a Cell match back at Armageddon in December, as was Kevin Owens. Sheamus failed to become the champion on numerous occasions, not looking to see another opportunity go by the wayside here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Meanwhile, Owens willing to throw his body in harm's way if it means retaining the title. Off the frog splash, Sheamus gets the shoulder up. But great damage done, you gotta believe, by the new WWE Champion. Kevin Owens has been riding a wave of momentum over the last few months, starting from ground zero back in the early fall. Rock bottom here on Monday Night Raw. All the way to the top of the mountain. It's one thing to get to the top. It's a whole other thing to stay there. Momentum is a real thing in this industry. Kevin Owens has been riding it for months, but eventually you gotta believe that luck is gonna run out. That momentum is gonna run dry. And it could be tonight in New York City by hands of this brawling brute in Sheamus. Just absolutely cleaning Kevin Owens' clock that time, but Owens with another reversal. Sheamus struggling to get going as the WWE Champion has obviously done his homework on his opponent. Already tonight, the Intercontinental Championship was on the line. Kevin Owens' best friend, Sami Zayn, retaining his title against dirty Dominic Mysterio with the Judgment Day. But will Kevin Owens have the same fate? Will he be able to retain the gold? Will the Celtic warrior Sheamus have his way? Oh my goodness! Well, no matter the result, Sheamus certainly had his way that time, sending Owens over the top rope and to the barricade. Sheamus willing to throw Kevin Owens' body in harm's way. Willing to give Kevin Owens the fight he wanted. And went to the barricade again. And what does the challenger have in mind for the champion? Sheamus using his surroundings to his advantage. Gotta believe this was gonna be a physical fight. Just look at the fighters that are inside. The squared circle at the current moment. Two men who are willing to risk it all in the means of any defeat on any given night. Sheamus getting going on the outside. Unfortunately, upon re-entry into the ring, not to be found. Kevin Owens with the springboard that time. And back in the driver's seat is the WWE Champion. The big time DDT. Owens back to the top, Sheamus in prime position, Kevin Owens hits the splash that he may have been looking for earlier in the matchup. Kevin Owens not going for the cover just yet, interesting decision, he's going back to the top rope, and now Owens with a swanton bomb, but nobody home, overzealous was the champion, and now Sheamus looking to pick the bones. Falcon Arrow that time, landing on the knees. The Celtic Warrior Sheamus coming alive here in New York City. Imagine if Sheamus spoils the eight night reign as WWE Champion. Imagine if the Celtic Warrior walks away from the world's most famous arena, holding the gold. It is very much a possibility as Sheamus is starting to stack the offense. Right here in Madison Square Garden, where Kevin Owens won the matchup for Team Sheamus back at Survivor Series in November, starting his uphill battle to the WWE title at WrestleMania. Sheamus looking to take it all away here tonight. There is certainly a mutual respect between these two men, but when that bell sounds, respect goes out the window. It's the pride of the competition, the pride of the fight, and the will to be WWE Champion that pushes these two superstars forward. Sheamus off the middle, buckle, and the shoulder block takes down the champion once more. Into the cover he goes. To win the title, not just yet. 
Close call that time. Kevin Owens controlling the early part of this matchup, but Sheamus has turned it on its head. May have spoken too soon as Owens now into the ropes. Could have been going for a pop-up powerbomb. However, Sheamus did his homework. Another counter again. Sheamus doing the song and dance. And now, on the shoulders goes the champion. White noise! To win the title! Kevin Owens with the shoulder up. Another close call for tonight's challenger. Sheamus had a couple of reversals that time. Stowed away and was able to capitalize with an air raid crash. A great, great white noise. However, Kevin Owens able to survive and now into the barricade. Vicious and ruthless is the offense by Sheamus and quite frankly, that's what it needs to be. These two men throwing fisticuffs on the outside of the ring. Kevin Owens getting the best of it. WWE Champion did some dirty work on the outside at WrestleMania. Stunnering Seth Rollins through the announce table. Power bombing him on the apron. But this time it's Sheamus the aggressor when the fight spills to the outside of the squared circle. Over the top. Owens trying to get this great white off his back. Sheamus the shark that smells blood in the water. The prize fighter, however, not looking to let up on his newly renowned WWE Championship. And Sheamus into the ring again. Back and forth, the momentum starts to swing. You notice, wait a minute, hold that thought. Sheamus picking the ankle to win the title. Off a sneaky pin, but not just to beat yet. You notice how Kevin Owens controlled the early part of this matchup. Sheamus turned the tables, and now for the last minute or so, it has been back and forth between the champion and the challenger. Both men revving up the engines as they realize they need to in this match. Sheamus may be in trouble. Stunner! Kevin Owens may have put the exclamation point on this match. And Sheamus, however, not to be denied. Shoulder off the canvas. The Celtic Warrior is still in this fight. New York City blowing the roof off of Madison Square Garden. We are in the home of the Knicks, the home of the Islanders. And we have got a hockey fight, a brawl breaking out on the court. Either way, you spin it. Sheamus, Kevin Owens, the WWE title is on the line. Stakes couldn't be any higher. The moment couldn't be any bigger here in the Big Apple. Sheamus able to survive the stunner. But obvious damage done as Kevin Owens looks to take advantage. Delivers the frog splash. A signature out of the arsenal of the champion. Sheamus may have kicked out, but you see, the pressure is still on. Surviving is not thriving inside of that squared circle. The beatdown continues as the WWE Champion is not looking to let up on the championship he won only eight nights ago. Taken down once more is the challenger. Sheamus has got to find a window of opportunity if he's going to get back in this matchup. May have been able to kick out of that stunner. That does not mean Sheamus is anywhere near 100%. Look at the fight that Kevin Owens is presenting to the table. Sheamus days. Sheamus may be knocked off his game. Dropped down by Owens. And a big time elbow. Simple yet effective. Owens going for the splash. Nobody home. This is Sheamus' opportunity now to turn the tides. On the shoulders he goes. Could be going for a victory roll. Not just yet. Springboard. Tornado DDT by the champion. Wanted it earlier. Delivered it later. Sheamus had an opportunity that time. Unfortunately, not able to take advantage as Kevin Owens gives Sheamus his thoughts. We've got a barn burner on our hands here in the garden. Who is going to be the WWE Champion when we roll into the 2024 WWE Draft? Four weeks from tonight, Monday night, April the 8th, live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. All roads lead as well to San Juan, Puerto Rico. Saturday night, April the 13th, Backlash. Who will be the champion on that night? High stakes, high rewards here in the Big Apple. 
Sheamus almost had the opportunity to get back in this fight. Was not able to take advantage. Lands on his feet that time. This could be it. Take down. Another fight trying to continue, but again, Sheamus. Not able to take advantage of the reversal. Owens into the cover once more. And Sheamus kick it out at the last second. Oh my goodness. Gotta give credit where it's due. The challenger is hanging in there. Frustration may be starting to creep in on Kevin Owens. Owens worked long and hard to win the WWE title. And a stutter! Make it a dose. Sheamus had the reversal. Not to be. And Kevin Owens delivers a second stutter to victory. You saw a few times at the end of that match. That Sheamus tried to thing, tried to change things up, tried to throw the reversal, get Kevin Owens off his game. Unfortunately, it was not to be. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That is the music of the former WWE champion. Wait a minute. Seth Rollins from behind. The man who lost the title back at WrestleMania. The visionary, the revolutionary, Seth freaking Rollins ambushing an already beaten Kevin Owens. Owens may be the victor tonight, but he certainly doesn't look like it as Seth Rollins sneaking up from behind and ambushing the man who took away his gold eight nights ago at WrestleMania. This story is not finished. Rollins wants his title back here on Monday Night Raw.